In this video today, we will continue with all the videos that we are doing for the Matrix Gold Tools month, that is this March, and we will keep working with the gems, and today we will talk about the custom gem. This is a tool that many people use, because there is times that you have gems that we don't have in our standard gems, like we can have in our gems tool. So it's good to have a way to create your own gem. So the first thing that I would do, first of all, is I would type picture in my comment line. And as you can see, I have this one that I found on the internet. I will just add it in my viewport. And what I will do is just rotate it a bit. So I get something like this. I will add it in another layer and I will block it so I can work with it without having trouble on selecting the picture. And then I will use from here the polyline and I will start to work with this. All right, now I will hide the picture and we'll have the shape. Probably I can move this point more like this. All right, now let's start to play with custom gem and you will see that from the moment that I select it, it's asking me to select curve. This is the curve. I don't have any extra point, so I will click enter. And because we are creating shapes that are not what we were expecting, we get these shapes. First of all, that you, what you can try is to increase the facet number, but as you can see, still I'm getting a very weird shape. So if I click enter, you will see that it's in red and you can see all the bad geometry. So what you have to do when this happens is just type point in the command line so just be sure that you have the os snaps and we can add more points to this curve so the tool will have more references all right let's try now so again we'll go for the custom gem we will select this curve and now instead of clicking enter as i did before what i will do is select facet points so i will do like this i select all the points that i add and as you can see now it looks much, much better. So I validate. Still, it get, I'm getting the result. The only thing that I need to do is just increase the facets. Probably I have to do it a bit more. And there we go. Now we have the gem, all right? So now we have this gem. And with this gem, we will be able to add gem offset. I can create girdle space. So now from here, I can create just say one offset. And from this offset, what I can do is just extrude, I will cap it. And now I have like a bezel that I can adapt it just using this girdle spacing. All right, so it's very convenient. This was to do a weird shape, of course, that in case that we would have some shape even easier, like just say that we have a curve like this. Also, I can go to gems and do the same thing, custom gem. I select this one, but now because the shape it's more roundish, we shouldn't have any problem and get the result at the very first time. Of course, that here you have many different settings. You can play with a chrome angle just to adapt the shape and look for the shape that you are looking. Keep always in mind that depending on what settings you play, you can get different results and you will need to go back and do it again until you get the right shape. Very handy tool. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.